ladies and gentlemen, back again, bad LSX. I just can't stay off the bike. It's not even 7.30 in the morning yet. 7.14 in the morning, 7.15 in the morning right now, according to my phone. And I'm going to meet up with Roy. Don't know really what we got in store. Just gonna get out and about. Figured I'd take you guys along with me again. Got a new microphone set up in my helmet. Or not new, just got it figured out. And figured we'd just take you all along for the ride. It's a little chilly this morning. Glad I decided to wear long sleeves. Let's turn on my accessorize lights and let's hit the interstate. Getting close to the end of Big Hill here. The gas station will be on my right as soon as you get past the Dollar General store. Guys, what do you think about the Dollar Generals? It's like they plant a seed and it sprouts and next thing you know there's a Dollar General store. I ain't never seen so many Dollar General stores in all my life. They're everywhere. Everywhere. There he is. There's old Roy. So let's get in here and get some gas and see what we can do. I promise there ain't nothing wrong with him. That's just the way Roy is. Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> He's uh, trying to get our cardio headsets matched up, Bluetooth together. But he is a little special sometimes. <laughs> I love you, brother.
Hey guys, just thought I'd speed up the video through this. It was a blast going through here. We had about 16 minutes. That's what the traffic and all. As you can see, I'm following behind uh, some kind of Hyundai SUV. He really wasn't going that fast. Yeah, I know I shouldn't have passed him on that double yellow, but hey, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And I could see through the curves pretty good, so I overtook him. Anyways, lots of curves here. There was 489 curves. If I didn't say already, this is US 421 in Shady Valley, Tennessee. We uh, was doing really good through here and ended up catching up with a white SUV and a Freightliner semi and trailer. Come to find out the, uh, after following them the rest of the way, the Freightliner semi was actually doing better than the white SUV was and you can see us catching up to them right here. It was uh, the guy in the white SUV or lady or whoever it was was having a pretty hard time. Don't know why. It's pretty bad though when a semi uh, that's not even supposed to be on this road out does you. US 421 Country Store, Shady Valley, Tennessee, home of the snake. One valley, three mountains, 489 curves. If you guys are happening out this way, I would highly recommend coming this. It's actually been really fun. Next to the Dragon, it's probably one of the best ones around. We ended up in Jonesboro, Virginia. Uh, definitely been an eventful day, but it's time to try to work our way back and uh, head back. Met some nice people here. And well, we're gonna head back towards Richmond, Kentucky. You know how we are when we're out. We just uh, could end up anywhere. Right now we're back in Virginia and this is our view. It one of the look lookouts on, uh, what highway is this again? I can't remember. I'll have to put it in the description. Bikes are dirty. We're wore out. And not even a fourth way home. And yeah, we're not even a fourth of the way home, but we've had a blast. I would have to say Virginia has, or this side of Virginia has the most beautiful mountains around. You can look at Kentucky mountains from, you know, Middlesboro and Harlan County and all of that, but it has nothing on this side of the, on Virginia side. I got the wow factor out of Roy. 
it's hard to uh, hard to surprise Roy much, and he had actually never been this direction, so definitely definitely surprised him. He uh, said his neck was hurting from looking to the left so much, heading up, and as we was heading home, wore out and tired, he said his neck was hurting from looking to the right so much, but he never complained one bit. It's just so much beautiful land. We even talked about how the pioneers would have came through here and how everything on, on you know, just undone, how it would have been. As we come to this house right here, even Roy had mentioned about how it looked like Yellowstone on actual Yellowstone. And I would have to admit, they probably have the prettiest view of that whole area. But it's just amazing through here. If you've not been, I'd highly su suggest that you make the travel. It's worth that just to see this whole area. Sigh of relief as you hit this tunnel. Your shoulder's on fire, your butt's numb, you can't feel your wrists, but then it just kind of comes over you like, man, I'm heading back home. And then you hit this mess right here and you think, man, I don't want to go home. I know my family's waiting on me. That's why I'm heading home. But at the same time, you forget everything. You just remember where you just was and know that none of this matters. And just know that you can't wait for the next adventure or the next trip. Like, share, and subscribe, guys. Peace.